Oh, this is cool. Okay, I'm gonna have a lot of fun here in the city. No, 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 that's the wall. That's the wall. That's the wall. Oh. Well. Hello, YouTube Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Brick Rigs. Today, we're gonna be trying out the aviation update. So I'm gonna build a biplane. We're gonna do a time lapse of it. I'm gonna go out and play with it. And I'm also gonna check out some workshop creations. Now, if you wanna skip the time lapse, I think it's right around the three to three and a half minute mark. Should get you beyond that. But anyways, guys, hope you enjoy the time lapse. Alright, this is the Komodo Gaming biplane. I think it came out pretty good. I like the colors, got some little fine details here and there. Uh, I was basing this off of a Lego set uh, that I found on the internet. It looked really cool. The instructions I almost copied uh, completely. Uh, there's a couple things I changed. Uh, of course, we're always missing some parts in the game. They're still adding parts. Now, one thing you're going to notice, the uh, back's a little bit different from the uh, time lapse. I had the ramp pieces up here, but then I realized I needed to actually put the wing piece. So I think I have this thing set up as far as the controls. I am going to use an Xbox One remote. I tried this uh, flying with the mouse and I'm going to be a little mean about this, but the controls to me, they were just kind of garbage. I couldn't get used to it. Now that's not saying that they are garbage, that's just my opinion of them. I'm pretty sure some people can actually fly with the uh, mouse, but I'm going to use the Xbox One remote. So. Anyways, I think we're ready to test this thing out. Of course, in Komodo gaming fashion, I've spawned it backwards. That's what I always do. Man, I really gotta get used to doing that. Uh, let's see, brakes, okay. Full, uh-oh. Okay, well, we need to uh, reverse that because uh, apparently first gear is backwards. So I'm assuming R1 is forward, okay. Yeah, not bad. Steer's pretty good on the ground, hmm. Let's see, let's get another look, view of it here. Yeah, that looks nice. You know what, I think I actually got the uh, character, I'm still gonna call this a mini biplane, but I think I got the character scale a little closer than I had been doing. So uh, let's go ahead, we're gonna back up here. Now we did spawn into the uh, race map. I figured this is gonna have the biggest runways in it, even though there's not an actual runway. Uh, maybe they'll be adding that next. So here we go, we're gonna go into, hmm. I guess we'll have to use the grass here. We're gonna go into operation mode or, yeah, operation mode. I gotta figure out what that is. There we go. Picking up speed. Here we go, she takes off. Okay, how does she handle? Whoa, okay, a little wobbly. 
See, I don't know. It's kind of tricky with the biplane design. I don't know if I'm supposed to make both wings actually, you know, control, or if I'm only supposed to use one and use the other one for kind of like looks. Uh, let's do a little corkscrew here. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Uh, kind of tilted over here. Let's try to try to roll to the right. This is pretty stable. This is much better with an Xbox One remote. Whoa. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Pull up, pull up, pull up. Oh, look at that. Ah, this is pretty good. Uh, let's try to do just a big flip here. Let's get a big arch. There we go. I wonder, nah, I doubt you can stall things. Uh, I wonder where the uh, actual skybox is. We're up pretty high. There we go. We're gonna do a little bit of a dive here. Oh, this is cool. This is great. Uh, this is so much better with the remote. So yeah, I think I've actually created something that pretty much works. I would like for it to roll a little bit better. It seems to have some... Oh, no. <laughs> oh. Well, that was kind of disappointing. I kind of figured that was going to be a bigger crash than that. I just nosedived into the ground. Yeah, I would like for it to roll a little bit better, but I don't really know how to accomplish that. Uh, let's go ahead and reset it real quick and try again. Okay, we're going to turn off the backs here, and let's go back in operation mode. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we might be angled wrong here. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Let's do a little low flight here. Still a bit twitchy, and I don't know if that's my controls. Uh, we're going to test out some other uh, airplanes here in a second to see if it's just my plane or if it's just the way the controls are. But yeah, this is really cool that they've added this. I'm kind of excited to see what updates come up next. I'd like to see a map cater to airplanes because I would like to see some big runways and maybe some uh, cool mountain areas. We might go out to the desert. I'm just a little worried about if we're going to have room to actually take some of these things off. So... Anyways, I am pretty happy with that. I'll probably stick that on the workshop. And oh, we're gonna nosedive. There we go. See, that was the crash I was looking for. Oh, that was great. Yeah, also, it looks like they've added some sort of physics to the character. I don't remember the character flopping around like that. It's actually kind of disturbing. And he doesn't, like, automatically get up. So, ah, uh, that's really cool. You can see the uh, debris field here. Yep. No survivors. Ah, this thing looks really cool. This is the Mosquito Jet. This is by Petrus.91. This is on the workshop. Of course, I'm going to link everybody's workshop if I use their creations. So let's see, how does this thing work? It has no sound. That is really odd. Okay, I don't see any propellers. I didn't see... Oh, there's jets. Okay. How does this actually fly? Maybe this didn't need the uh, aviation update. Uh, let's see. Okay, well, I'm pretty sure the wings at least need it. Oh. Oh, oh, that is nice. It has no sound, which is really odd, but that is cool looking. It actually looks like we have an issue. I, I'd be concerned to see a, a, a sea flame shooting out of the back of a, a airplane or a jet like this. That is crazy. That thing loves to roll. Look at that. <laughs> wow. Oh, that is cool. That is really cool. I love the uh, reflection and a little bit of glare uh, that's coming back on the camera here. It's just a shame that that doesn't produce any noise, or at least maybe the noise glitched out. I don't know. There's only one way to test that out. Let's hit something. Nope. Whoa. Nope. Yep. We got noise. Wow. I want to start attaching those. That was cool. All right. So here's the Raptor again. I don't know how I'm going to do this. Uh, this is probably my best bet. They don't have any runways here in the city, so hmm. I guess we can take off from here. So let's go into operation mode. Let's give it some gas or some jet or whatever you want to call it. And here we go. Here we go. Oh, this is cool. Okay, I'm going to have a lot of fun here in the city. No, no, no. That's the wall. That's the wall. That's the wall. Oh. Well, you know, it, it took me like two minutes to get onto the street there. That is extremely disappointing. All right. Well, it spawned me in a little bit different area here. This is going to be operation. See if we can hit the train with the jet. So... Let's go in operation mode here. Okay. Come on, pull up, pull up. Oh, wow, we barely made it out of there. Okay. So, let's go track down. I think I saw... Actually, no, I guess we need to go against the uh, train. Gotta remember to keep firing these jets off, because if you don't hold down the trigger, it just kind of descends. So, let's go find the jet here. This is cool. Okay. Uh, where are you at? Where are you at? Oh, please don't be under there. Um, uh, ah, there it is. Okay, I see it. Oh, this is gonna be tricky. This is gonna be tricky. This is gonna be awesome, too, if I can hit it. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, no. Oh, we're still gonna get hit. Boom. <laughs> oh, 
that's great. All right, I want to try that one more time. I want to hit that thing while it's still moving. All right, so let's go track down that train. Pretty sure we're going to come up on it. We might actually come up on it in the same spot as last time. Yeah, we are. Okay, let's try to get an angle on it. There we go. There. Wait, what? <laughs> it just shifted over to the right. Okay. Well, that was pretty close. Uh, let's try it again. Well, that's a heck of a spawn. I don't know if we can actually get off of this. Uh, 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 what? Okay. Oh, <laughs> what the heck? Oh, oh, oh. I think we took down a building. All right, it is my time here. We're gonna hit this train. Here we go. Yes, I got. Wait, where'd the plane go? Where? Uh, uh, okay. Well, that's a thing. I think the jet's actually still, uh, still spinning it there. It, it just keeps spinning. Uh, eventually, it's gonna hit the ground here. There it goes. <laughs> oh, that was epic. All right, well, let's go grab another creation. Man, it's that time of year again. We have a Santa sleigh with a couple reindeer. I'm not really sure how this works, but this is really cool looking. This is made by Gyro Tim. I'll link his workshop down in the description. Let's see how this thing works. Okay, so it just drives around. This doesn't happen to take off, does it? Does it? Nope. Okay. You know, it would be really cool if he strapped some, uh, maybe some rockets. Uh, I guess you can maybe hide them in the reindeer butts. I don't know. Uh, let's see. <laughs> this is... This is cool. It's just snowing. It feels perfect. Uh, we're gonna go give some gifts. We might go get hit by a train. I don't know. That might upset some people. Uh, let's see if Santa can fly here. I know he doesn't have any flight controls, but can he make it to the other highway? Oh, Santa just overshot it. Oh, oh, oh. Huh, that didn't break apart as much as I thought it would. Okay, let's reset that. Ooh. Would it be wrong to let Santa get hit by a train? Um... No, uh, no, I think it'll be okay. I mean, we celebrate a song about Grandma getting hit by a reindeer, so, I mean, I guess we can have Santa getting hit by a train, and that'll be perfectly fine. So, uh, there's the, uh, tracks here. Santa's about to meet his maker. Uh, do we have Rudolph there? Real quick. Ooh. Ooh, those faces. I don't know if I wanted to actually look at those. I was gonna see if we had, uh, Rudolph there, but, uh, uh, those faces are kind of terrifying looking. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see... Oh, it's got lights. Oh, oh, that's a, it's a little bright. Come on, hop up on the track. Here we go. This is gonna be perfectly acceptable. Uh, we're about to ruin Christmas here for a lot of people. Come on, get up on the track. Get up on the track. Uh, that's probably close enough. Oh, here comes the train. Uh, see if I can shove up. Come on, shove on, shove up, sleigh. Come on. There we go. Santa's about to meet his maker. You know, I could hop out of this and just watch this from afar. Ooh, we have slow mo. Uh, we're gonna slow-mo this. Hello, Mr. Train! Oh, uh, this is gonna be epic. Oh! Oh! Ooh! Oh, wait, what? Did we just bounce off the train? Okay. Oh! <laughs> we came back and hit it again. Oh, you know what? I think one of the reindeer actually made it. Uh, or maybe they didn't. Hold on. Hold on. Let's check. Uh, uh oh. Um, Yeah. About that, uh, let's go grab another creation. <laughs> All right, I've got one more creation here. We've got a Brick Gotti. Uh, you get it, Brick Gotti? Special play on words. It's funny, folks. You're supposed to laugh. So yeah, this was made by Magnum Farce, which that name gets me every time. It's a fantastic name. You should definitely go check out his uh, workshop. He's got a lot of cool stuff on there. And oh, look at that, it lights up. That's cool. All right, let's, uh, let's drive this around. Uh, I had a Bugatti and Scrap mechanic the other day. That was actually kind of fantastic to uh, play with. It actually has a, a, a similar paint scheme. I, I'm assuming this is a standard paint scheme on the Bugattis. I don't know. Oh, this thing drives nice. Okay. There we go. I don't know if there's any confirmation if the snow actually affects the handling in the game. I do not believe it does, but I could be completely wrong about that. And this thing's got some speed. Up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. Come on. Turn. Oh, okay. We're losing a little bit of the bottom here. Oh, we're about to hit a jump. Oh, Oh, that's sweet. Okay, that works actually really good. This is a uh, very good handling car. Let's go ahead and hit it again. There we go. I, I know I'm obsessed with the train. My first thought again was, hey, maybe I should park this one on the tracks. I'm like, uh, I've done that a little too much. Uh, I feel like that might be an issue. Maybe it's a 
a personal issue that I need to deal with, but yeah, this is a cool creation. This one looks really good. I'm kind of wondering what that is. Oh, that's the driver's head. Oh, oops. Okay, well, you're going to get to see this one get crushed anyways. Oh, what happens when we fall down into this? Uh, oh, that does. Huh? Since when was this here? We can't fall down in the bottom of the pit anymore? I could have swore that was a thing. Oh, the Bugatti's not in good shape. But anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this episode of Brick Rigs. We'll have plenty more fantastic gameplay videos coming up soon. If you want to see me build anything in Brick Rigs, go ahead and comment below. I can't guarantee I'm actually going to be able to build it. Also, do check out all the fantastic creators that we featured here today. If you want to download any of their creations, I'll have everything linked in the description. But anyways, guys, if you'd like to like and subscribe, everything helps my channel. And hope you have a good day, and we will see you guys next time on Brick Rigs.